स्वागत है वेलकम टू टैलेंट ओपन स्टूडियो फॉर डेटा इंटीग्रेशन ट्रेनिंग इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सॉ हाउ टू क्रिएट ए हेलो वर्ल्ड जॉब इन टैलेंट इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्क्राइब द ग्राफिकल यूजर इंटरफेस इन टैलेंट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टैलेंट इज बेसिकली ए जावा कोड जनरेटर इट हैज इंटरफेस सिमिलर टू एन इक्लिप्स इंटरफेस विच इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट आई डी ईज फॉर वर्किंग इन जावा All tasks, ETL or non-ETL, are achieved by creating jobs in Talent. So, what is a job? A job is nothing but a joint set of related components. And what is a component? A component is primarily a Java function that we can configure by setting the properties of a component. All components have their own specific function. For example, if we have a T Oracle connection component that is used to connect to an Oracle database. Similarly, we have a T file input delimited component that is used to read delimited files data as an input. Talent has around 800 plus components in its library. So, how do we identify that which component we have to use among this big set of 800 plus components? The answer is simple. Here comes the naming standard of these components that can help us in identifying which component we have to use. All components names start with small letter T, where T stands for talent. Then comes the type of source which we are dealing with. For example, if we are reading files, then the second part will be file. Similarly, if we are reading data from a MySQL database, then this part would be MySQL. The third part of the component name determines how we want to use this component. For example, if I want to read the files, that is file is going to supply data to our job, then this part will be input. Similarly, if I want to use a component to make a connection to a database, then this part would be connection. And after we have made a connection to our database and we want to start reading data from a table in a database, then this part would be input. The fourth part of the component is primarily used by file related component. Here this part tells you the type of file you want to read. For example, if you want to read data from a delimited files, then this part would be delimited. Thus the full component name will be T file input delimited. Similarly, if you want to read data from a positional files, then this part would be T file input positional. Apart from these components, there are some components that applies their function code to each incoming row or record. These components have their names that follow a naming convention that is of type of function this component is performing followed by the row keyword. For example, if you want to sort your incoming data, then you will use T sort row component. Similarly, if you want to filter your incoming data, then you will use T filter row component. And if you want to display your data to the console, then you will use T log row component. Here logging means displaying the data. All of these components are arranged in Palette in Talent UI on the right side of the designer. Palette makes the task of finding component much more easier by categorizing these components in a particular folders. On the right side, you can see the palette. Palette becomes activated only when you create a job. In this particular scenario, I am showing you the job which we have created in our previous tutorial, that is Hello World job. As you can see on the right side, in case if you want to a component which we can use to read a data from a file, so we'll go to the file folder and then you will go to the input folder and there you can select the file input delimited component. Similarly, if you want to write your data to a file which is delimited in nature, you will go to the output folder and select T file output delimited. Similarly, if you want to Fetch the data from an oracle table, you will go to the database and there you will select your oracle database and there you will select the type of function which you are looking for. For example, I want to load a data to a particular table, so I will select the T oracle output component. In case I am not sure about which component I need to use, I can just hover my mouse over a particular component and it will list on me the what is the purpose of this particular component in brief. On the left side, you will find something called repository. Repository as the name suggests is used to store as well as display your projects, 
your jobs, your code, contacts, as well as connections to both files as well as your databases. We will see more about the repositories in upcoming tutorials. Next is the designer. The designer is at the heart of the talent UI. Here we drag and drop components from palette and link them using various connections. Next is the properties tab which is below the designer. Here we define properties related to a particular job or components. For example in the job tab we have further 4 sub tabs. In the main sub tab you will see the properties of your job that is name, author, purpose and description. In the extra tab you will find some advanced properties of a particular job. We will discuss more on these advanced properties in the upcoming tutorials. Next is the stats and logs section. In the stats and logs section you will define how you want to capture your logging or stats of a particular job. We will explore more on this in the stats and logs section. Next is the version. The version tells you the current version of your job. Next is the context tab. In context tab, we define variables whose values we want to populate during runtime. Also we use context to deploy our jobs into the higher environment. We will explore more on context in the upcoming tutorials. Next is the component tab. This tab only gets activated whenever you select a particular component. As you can see in the component tab you can define various properties or settings of a particular component. Most of the components properties are listed under basic settings. Some components do have advanced settings which you can explore and you can set it on your own. Next is the run tab. Under the run tab we can run our job which we have created. In case if I want to debug a particular job or test my particular logic, I can use that debug run future of talent. So in the debug run tab, you can run your job and you can see how your job behave in a particular session. Next is the advanced settings. In the advanced settings, you can set the JVM parameters for your job. So what is JVM? JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. Talent uses JVM to run your job. Next is the target execution. This tab is primarily active for the enterprise version of the talent. Here you can deploy your job into the advanced or some other servers. Next is the outline tab. In the outline tab, you can see what are the global variables associated with a particular component. We will explore more on the global variables in the upcoming tutorials. As I told to you earlier, Talent is a Java code generator. So if you want to see the code generated by a particular job which you have created, you can go to the code tab. So once you click on the code tab, you will see the code generated by your Talent job. It also helps you in finding the errors in your job. We will see that in errors and stats logging session. This is all for today's tutorial. Today we will learn the graphical user interface of talent like where is what. In the next video we start module 2 and we will start working with files. Thanks for watching.